Hey guys, my name is Jacob. My name is Haley. And we've been living in Grenada for the past nine months. Uh, I go to uh, St. George's University, the School of Medicine. So in this video, we're going to give you a tour of the apartment that we've been living in. So this is our kitchen. It's a little different than like what you would get in the United States. Our fridge is a lot smaller than what we are used to. Um, there's no dishwasher, so you have to wash everything by hand. The oven is a little bit different, and most of the ovens here are, you have to light them with a lighter um, instead of just turning it on. So we have a lot of counter space, but there's not usually air conditioning in any of the kitchens. Some of the times you can get the living room air conditioner to blow in here, but we do have a microwave. All right, so this is our um, dining room and our combined uh, living room here. Uh, we have to bear with us. We leave to go back to the United States in about 12 hours, so it's a little bit messy. Um, but we pulled this table over to make a little TV stand because um, this house uh, didn't have a TV, so we bought one and then put it up there so that kids can watch shows and things like that. But it's a nice little area, and we have a, a dinner table here. So another interesting thing about the internet here is that because the walls are solid concrete, the internet will sometimes get slower if you're a lot farther from the router. So as you can see here, we put up a router that was a little bit higher to try to get signal out. And it works pretty good, but depending on how many concrete walls you have to go through, it might get slowed down quite a bit. So that's just something else to keep in mind. So out this door, we have one of our balconies. This house has three balconies, which is really nice to uh, overlook. And this bay out here is the Secret Harbor Marina area. It's the Hartman Bay is what it's called. So it's a really nice view. You can see a lot of boats down there and a great view of the mountains too. Okay, so this is our bathroom. It's pretty, pretty standard bathroom. We have some decent counter space and um, a single sink and a pretty good sized shower. Sometimes here in Grenada, the water pressure can fluctuate a lot. And also most of the bathrooms here don't really have outlets. So that can be an issue like if you like to blow dry your hair or something like that. This is my bedroom. Okay, so this is Kinsley's bedroom and it has a full size bed. So that's something that you should probably ask about also is sheets, like so you know what to bring down. Um, both of the closets have lots of storage and shelving and each of our, in our rooms, each of them have these three drawers and then a little counter space and a mirror. Um, we have fans in both of our bedrooms so that we don't have to run the AC as much. And um, it kind of helps keep the air moving with the windows open and then we just move into the living room during the daytime. All right, so this is another one of our balconies. This is probably like my favorite view and it's also a great place. Uh, we live here in Lansapine, which is one of the uh, little neighborhoods here. And um, Lansapine is right under where the planes take off. So you can sit here and watch planes take off really close. It's pretty cool. And then we also have the other bay over here, which is, I don't know what this one is. What is this one? But it's a really, also a really great view. You can see like the ocean goes a long way there. So this is the bigger bedroom at our house. And this is Haley and I's bedroom. And it's uh, got a lot of space. Uh, we've been lucky. Both of the places that we've lived in here have had two twin beds put together. So that almost makes up a king bed. Um, another thing, just like we mentioned in the bathroom, you have to be careful of the outlet situation. This room only has one outlet, so we kind of have a, a power power cord extension, and then we have different cords running all over to be able to charge things, but it works out. And um, for this house specifically, um, we have a AC unit in both bedrooms and then in the living room, which we didn't mention earlier, but there's one in the living room. Uh, some houses here will only have them in the bedrooms, so that's something to ask depending on 
um, what house you're looking at, that would be something to ask is how many AC units because they don't have central air here, so they're just going to have, it's going to be per room, um, but that's also going to be expensive, um, so just keep that in mind. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that short house tour. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Um, I, I guess the main thing that we would say to think about probably is the electric situation because depending on how much you run your AC unit, how much you use your dryer, your, your electric bill can get pretty high. I think ours at our old house got up to 500 US one month, which is really crazy. And that's the reason that we, we moved here because this house here in Lansapine is kind of up on a hill. So we get really good um, breeze through here. And it's basically kind of like self air conditioning. We, we run it maybe once a week or something, but um, not very often. Another thing to like keep in mind or ask your landlord about is your washer. Um, most places don't have a dryer, but some do. And the washer can be like outside the house or it can be shared with like neighbors or different things. And then like if you don't have a dish or if you don't have a washer, then like where do you hang your clothes? Some places you have to provide your own uh, clothesline and some places already have like a spot for you. Yep. So uh, comment below if you have any questions and we'll try to answer them. I know there's going to be a lot of people moving down here to Grenada, uh, but we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe below and uh, we'll see you soon.